Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BOI Weekly. I'm Terry Ikumi. Now, 2017 marked a significant beginning for young entrepreneurs in Nigeria as the bank of industry commenced the granting of loans to micro, small and medium entrepreneurs with the aim of boosting the economy, creating jobs and durable wealth. The bank engages 14 microfinance banks with branches nationwide to disburse these loans to deserving entrepreneurs. A number of micro, small and medium entrepreneurs who were targeted for these loans include tailors, furniture makers, shoemakers, bakers, among others. Now, the disbursement of these loans has seen several entrepreneurs making waves in the business world as they continue to access funds from the bank of industry to grow their businesses. On this week's edition of the program, we'll take a look at how beneficiaries of the loans are contributing their quota to the economic development of the nation. Welcome to the program. Our team, as usual, visited some of the beneficiaries based in Kanu, Cross River and Aquaibom State. These beneficiaries include Sesame Engineering Limited, Success Foods and Previc Nigeria Enterprises. Proprietors of these businesses talk to us about the impact of the credit facility from the Bank of Industry on their businesses. We begin with Anuramon Engineering Limited, managed by Mr. Adamu Diko, and Success Foods, managed by a retired school teacher, Mrs. Rose Ojomo. Now, Anuramon Engineering Limited was incorporated in 2013. The main aim of the business is the trading of agro-allied products, specifically sesame, ginger, hibiscus, and soya beans, while Success Foods, managed by Mrs. Rose Ojomo, started business in 1989 on a small scale as a marketer of food items and other edibles. For marketing people's products, Success Foods is now a household name in Cross River State as a major manufacturer of custard powder. Take a listen as we bring you details of the incredible transformation agenda of BOI on these businesses. Anuramon Engineering Limited was incorporated in 2013. The primary business of the company is the trading of agro-allied products, especially sesame, ginger, hibiscus and soya beans, with sesame being the main focus. They process sesame in this warehouse, which has been in operation since 2013 when it was incorporated. We clean it and we package it. The company started with private financing, where it raised some money before the BOI loan was disbursed in 2020. Mr. Adamu Diko is the managing partner and executive director of the company, and he speaks on how the journey began. It has been operation uh, since 2013 when we incorporated the company. We have been operating and we started as with private financing where we raised the little monies we had. We were getting a little profit and the business kept expanding and expanding till the point that we are right now. Uh, the loan was disbursed in December 2020 and the purpose was for the purchase of cleaning equipment for the process of sesame. Although the business world is full of challenges, the company is appreciative of BOI's approval for a reduction in their interest rate during the COVID-19 pandemic, which made repayments less challenging. The managing partner highlights the impact of BOI on their business and the opportunities the company is planning to take advantage of in the nearest future. Yes, definitely. Because, especially in the area of Sesame, our main focus was exports to meet the orders of our clients abroad. But with the COVID-19 pandemic, it devastated the export markets, so we had to adapt. So that means we had to boost our local operations. And because we still had some financing available during the pandemic, we were able to get a lot of goods at quite a cheap price to stockpile in our warehouse. So after the pandemic ended, that was of great benefit to us. Uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the bank graciously approved a reduction in our interest rates. So repayments were less of a challenge. Even though operations went down, we were able to meet them seamlessly. So we are grateful for that. Yes, the opportunity would be to greatly expand our trade within the sub-Saharan African region. In fact, the whole of Africa, actually, because it also gives us an opportunity to purchase goods as well with less bottlenecks. So that is good and uh, it, will, it will help us either way in fulfilling our demands, both locally and abroad. 
<laughs> the advice I'd give them is very simple. Just apply. Because all these facilities, they are here. They have been here for a long time. But the problem we have, especially here in our region, the northern region, is uh, basically what I'll call a lack of information. So maybe BOI can also increase the awareness on their products so that more people will be able to reach them. So that's the advice I'd give. The quality of water packaging and marketing in Calabar, the Cross River State Capital, is going digital with the arrival of Aqua Prime Waters. The company, which prides itself as a major producer of packaged water in the state, recently opened a state-of-the-art factory in the Highbrow State Housing Estate in Calabar. With the installation of a reverse osmosis machine, believed to be the first in Cross River State, the company appears to be taking the business of water packaging and vending to new heights, courtesy of the Bank of Industry. The mechanical engineer of the company takes our team down memory lane as he shares their story of struggles and success in the business of packaging water. Well, as we know, it's a consumer product. And uh, the operation is just like every other consumer product. What you can see here is the production factory. The machine we have there are called liquid packaging machine. They do the packaging of the water after purification. So it's a whole lot of process before it gets to this point of production. So from here it's consumable. How the business started? Well, like every other business, you must have a design plan. From a production capacity of 800 bags per day and only 15 workers, the manager and accountant of Aqua Prime Waters corroborates the testimony of the company's engineer as it pays glowing tributes to the Bank of Industry for the intervention which has enabled the company to grow from 15 staff to 50. We operate we have three products, sachet water, bottle water, and dispenser water. All are being consumed by the citizens of Calabar. Our operations spines through the management staffs. We have about eight of them. The production staffs, we have up to 25 of production staffs. Then we also have the marketing staffs that takes the product out for sales. We also have the production manager that is in charge of quality. The person makes sure the water that comes out comes out very unique. The person makes sure that every morning he tests the water to make sure whatever is being produced and sent out for consumers to consume, it's inhabitable for them to drink. And also we have an engineer that makes sure that the machines are up and doing at every point in time. We also have the marketing personnel, marketing manager, that sees that the product reach out to the looks and crannies of Calabar environs and even outside the state in general. Another entrepreneur making waves in the city of Calabar is a former teacher, Mrs. Rose Ojomo, who runs Success Foods as the managing director and chief executive officer. Success Foods started business as a marketer of food items and other edibles in 1989 with only two staff. Determined to address issues of food scarcity in the state, Mrs. Ojomo transformed from being a vendor into a manufacturer of custard powder. Today, by the grace of God, we are doing well in that uh, it wasn't really uh, too easy in the sense that you know, to start a small scale industry involves a lot of things, involves a lot of um, getting the machine for the production, getting people for the production, and managing the people. It wasn't an, an easy something. And um, by the grace of God, we struggled with it for so many years. Then, at long last, we came across the Bank of Industry. And we went there and they came to interview us one way or the other. They gave us the facilities. 
which we use. They bought some machine for us and the working capital and since then the business was able to spin forth. Uh, somebody just told me that there are bank of industry that I should go for to apply, which I did. Yes. Then after that, they came for interview like two or three times, and it wasn't quite too long. They gave me the facility. I think they came in by what they did, you know, what the industri industrialist needs is a machine, some machines to do the work, because we cannot be doing everything manual. And they're doing everything manual, really slow down the production. Something that would have done for maybe like a few hours, you can use like three days to do it. And by that, it was really telling on the business, we have a lot of stress and a lot of indebtedness to pay, especially when we collect things on credit, for us to process it and go to the markets. It really, it was a problem. But when they came in, they were able to give us some machines. So the work that we were doing like for, for three days, we were just doing just a few hours to do it. Then after that, we were able to collect things on credit and pay back. Then they did not give us some grace, you know. Um, they give us some amount of grace to start paying back the loan, which helped us to pay other indebtedness. Then on that, we now started paying back their loans gradually. With the intervention of the Bank of Industry leading to the expansion of Success Foods as a major manufacturer of custard powder in Calabar, Cross River State, the managing director encourages young entrepreneurs to approach the Bank of Industry as she announces her intention to seek further intervention from the bank. That's only what I, what I can invite them. What I can invite them, number one is that they should have passion for their business. They should be hardworking because industrialists, industrialization is something that is, very, is something that is, is not an easy task. You have to work more or less day and night production. That's why you see some company they run shifts. And if they can accomplish that in them, and because it's not for lazy people, then they can also go about to search for loan. And if they go to search for loan, it, the bank of industry should be the right place for them to go to. And before now, we used to hear of bank of industry in Lagos, in Onitsha, in the north. But it has come to our environment, which in, I'm not the only person being the beneficiaries. Others have done it. And I've seen people business growing. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm telling them to be consistent. I'm telling them when they collect the money, they should put the money into the business. Because what happened to so many, I've met a friend who quickly said that, oh, you collected the money, but he was sick and he had to travel to India to take care of his sick. But I'm not praying for anybody to sick. But what meant for a business should be meant for a business. So but maybe the, the business was waiting for that business. And a signal was waiting for that money. And, since, <laughs> and he used the opportunity. But I don't pay for such things. So if you actually ask God, say, God, straighten me, because these people's money, this government's money, people believe that government money can be uh, 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 consumed. Nobody will come to ask them. It's not like that. I remember there was a group that called Nephon. Nephon came into and gave money to the small scale industry when we, when we were in TIC. And I was, I was also one of the beneficiaries too. And the money was not too much, but at least we were able to use it. I use it. And if you go to TRC today, they give me a good record because I was able to pay my back. Many could not pay back. You know, they still use it for one thing or the other. They should not divest loan money to anything. And before they collect any loan, they should think of what they want to use the money to. They should, it should be with maturity, with all maturity. What did I want to use it for? It's not just to collect. I want to go and collect money from Bank of India. No, 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 no. What do you want to use it for? Some, they use it and build house. Some, they use it uh, to pay their children's school fees. No, it's not meant for that. 
Welcome back. Our next report features the success story of Victor and Victoria Akban, who have become victorious in their business. The couple runs Privik Nigeria Enterprises in the heart of Uyo, the Akwaibom state capital. From a humble beginning in 2009 as a manufacturer of custard powder, Mr. Akman's business conquest remains on the rise as his company, Privik Nigeria Enterprises, has diversified into the production of tissue papers, courtesy of the Bank of Industries interventions. Take a listen. Located in the heart of Uyo, the Akwaibom state capital, Privik Nigeria Enterprises is in the business of producing custard powder with a variety of flavors. From the production of a single flavor of custard powder in 2009, the company diversified into the manufacturing of different flavors and tissue papers, which is in high demand in Akwaibom State and its environs. You can unroll it. The managing director and chief executive officer of Privik Nigeria Enterprises, Mr. Victor Akman, a graduate of chemical engineering from the Polytechnic of Calabar, teams up with his wife, Mrs. Victoria Akman, a graduate of mass communication, also from the Polytechnic of Calabar, now known as the Cross River State University of Technology, to start the business of manufacturing custard powder. The company started 2009 running the production of custard powder. We have been able to produce custard that goes around the globe and most of the people that buy it convey that our product is the best. Well, as a, a company, we forge ahead to render assistant to university graduate who seek for IT uh, training, industrial attachment. And we have been able to help many of them to get their data for NYC. The company <coughs> is a very active company because from that year, 2009, there is no day till this day the company has failed to run a production from Monday to Saturday. Despite the economic circumstances in Nigeria, the high rate of dollars to Niger uh, Nigerian currency we have been able to survive. The, the product, just like I said, is something to write home about. When it comes to the assistance, I thank God for Bank of Industry so much because they are our sponsors. They help us so much to remain in this business because without God face, without Bank of Industry, I think, I think um, we wouldn't have achieved this. I thank God for Bank of Industry for giving us financial assistance to run this company till this day. With the support of his wife, Mr. Akban approached the Bank of Industry and was able to register under the Youth Empowerment Scheme for the intervention program that has transformed the business in addition to enabling the company to diversify into production of quality tissue papers. We don't... Yes, uh, as I said before, we really appreciate them. The GM of BOI, uh, the MD, and the South-South... Um, coordinator and Mr. Ejiro here in Calabar. We commend you. We really appreciate all of you. May God bless you in Jesus' name. The impact of the Bank of Industries intervention on the business is tremendous. 
which has enhanced the expansion of the business and improved the services provided for residents of Akwaibom State and its environs. The, the company is a company that government of Akwaibom State is aware of because of their contribution to unemployment. We have been able to employ unemployed youth to work in our factory. From that time till this time, that is to say, we have been able to assist state government and Nigeria to reduce unemployment. So, for now, the company is facing with challenges of the finance. That is, now that we have, buy, uh, we used to buy the one bag of starch, 6,000. Now, it's 15,500. That is the challenge companies facing, which we know our sponsor will address it. I'm talking about Bank of Industry. We need more financial aid to be able to remain in this business because of the price of a unit back of the materials. For that reason, I'm, I, I'm appealing to Bank of Industry once more to come to our financial aid to help us to remain in this business. Okay, I started to, um, with, call it seven, but now we are up to 15. We are up to 15. We are up to 15. In fact, what is the impact of PY on your business? Just like I told you, the intervention of BY to my business has created a, a very reasonable impact in terms of uh, uh, changing our level. BY changing our level because this intervention has brought about uh, the increase in production, which brought about uh, giving us something to move on. I know Bank, Bank of Industry BI is a very transparent bank. They don't look at, and that is why they operate, they don't look back. They don't want somebody eh, to come and uh, tell you this. They work on their own. I did not even know anybody before I accessed that loan. Eh? Just on their own, eh? they assess us, assess our ability, search everything, then they grant us that uh, facility. It's not somebody, I didn't know anybody. I didn't know nobody said, but they work it eh, rightly. Unlike other organizations, before you get this, you have somebody, you have somebody. So Bank of Industry is very, very transparent in whatever thing they are doing, even in dream. I have a, a I have Bank of Industry cannot be compete to any any bank in this country. Bank of Industry has worked eh, and uh, outstandingly, outstandingly, eh? Showing people example, if their, if their, their officer mess up now, they're disciplined. 
If they, they are mess up now, they discipline. They try as much as they can eh, to make sure their customer feel at home. So Bank of Industry is not uh, other banks. Before you get uh, something, they will say, ah, do you have a uh, person here? Do you have a person? It's not so. Bank of Industry, whenever they want to do their thing, they are very, very straightforward in whatever thing they are doing. In its determination to sustain the production of quality custard powder that meets international standard, Previc Nigeria Enterprises remains optimistic that the Bank of Industry will come to its aid once it liquidates its current facility. With the support of the Bank of Industry, the case of Victor and Victoria Akban, as their name implies, is a success story. As Previc Nigeria Enterprises continues to bask in the glory of the Bank of Industry. Now, over the years, the Bank of Industry has continued to provide interventions for businesses to thrive. And there's more where that came from. So, are you an entrepreneur out there or you know anyone in need of support to grow their business? Kindly visit any of the bank's branches closest to you or log on to their website at boi.ng. You can also follow the bank on all social media platforms as displayed on your screen. And that's it on this week's edition of BOI Weekly. I'm Terry. Ikumi. Goodbye.